Good morning. It is a cool, crisp 31 degrees here on February 1st. It's a Wednesday. As you can see, it's starting to lighten up a little bit. It's probably about 7, 5, 7, 10 in the morning. I've just finished a 5.4 mile run, <coughs> the usual route down through the Port of Olympia Peninsula, uh, through downtown around Capitol Lake, and then back up Legion. Much better than yesterday, where I basically just stopped after about a mile and walked home. Today, feeling much more energized and with it, so I was able to uh, complete the run. Uh, I was 199.6 on the scale this morning, which is what I expected. I didn't weigh myself yesterday, but I knew I was heavy. I was over 200 on Monday, so all the weekend uh, bad food. I've got a couple of new uh, listens. I finished Rosanna about uh, three quarters of the way through the run today. And so I decided to start the project I had mentioned in December, which is going to take most of February, I suspect, to listen to uh, Gravity's Rainbow by Thomas Pinchon. It's a book that was wildly popular and critically acclaimed when I was in college. And I kind of ignored it all this time. I figured it's probably time to uh, listen to it. It's supposed to be weird. Kind of a book of its time, a little bit around World War II, but mo mostly uh, drug uh, influence 60s and early 70s. So we'll see. It gets mixed reviews. Some people just wildly love it. Others gave up on it because of its uh, ran uh, meandering uh, psychedelic acid based, uh, apparently acid based uh, meand uh, musings. So we'll see what it's like. It's a long book, about 37 hours, so it will take me almost all of February to complete. Not much else to report. Uh, it's another work day. That's it. We will catch you next time.